dormidos, dimensión nocturna, cadáveres dormidos. Erica. Oh. Wow, Erica knew some throws. Goes for the takedown, Fallon Fox escape. They're both back up on their feet. Good throws and reversals by both fighters. These girls are getting right into it. Fox oh. in the knees and oh. that's it. Fox. I'm being bashed by the media, I'm being bashed by um, all the conservatives, I guess you can say. And I honestly don't even consider myself as trans, I just consider myself as a female. And it's unfair because that's the, um, the scientific definition that describes what or who I am is a trans female, but internally in myself I knew that I'm, I know that I'm a female. I am a straight female, so a transgender female who is heterosexual, who likes heterosexual men. I'm very feminine and I don't like to sh I don't like my muscles, so like things like that. Like I don't like my I don't like to be like seen as like strong or like jack.
Amy College team, I figured that I'd try and push for an NCAA team because it's taking it to the next level and it's trying to prove not only to myself, but to everyone that told me I couldn't do it, that I could. I had looked up schools in different divisions, and of the Division II schools that I spoke out to, only a few responded when I disclosed that I was trans. Very quickly I got rejections. I don't know if it's connected or not. The myth that trans athletes, specifically transgender women, have an advantage in sports, I feel like it's kind of a fear. It's an unfounded scientific fear. Growing up your whole life, going through puberty, kind of understanding how your body works, you know, you get used to it. Well, transitioning is like going through puberty backwards the other direction twice as far. There's a noticeable difference in my athleticism for the first few months on hormones, like I had a lot of muscle pains, my shoulders would hurt a lot, and I realized it's all my male muscle going away. It was pretty challenging at first.